in this video we'll see how to use the setter and getter in the class okay so let's start the class is course and I'm going to have here private member it can be a uh, course name and I'll declare there a public uh, sorry what I'm doing here it should be a string type It's going to be string and the course name there I have a public in the public I need to provide a set and the get function to to the set function will set the value and with the get function we can return the return the value from the function so there i have a just a void type i would say set course name and here in the i will, I will provide here a string as a name so I will pass the value string type value in this uh, uh, I will set the value string type in this function okay so there is going to be a my variable that I declare on under the private will be a course name will be equal to name okay so although I have declared this as a private but in this uh, this class function member can still get the direct access to the private data member but only in the main function I cannot uh, I cannot get this private uh, uh, variable I can I don't have access direct access to this private data member so uh, the one function is complete and the other one is again a string type and let's give it name just get course name and it is going to be without parameter because now I'm just going to return a value so I have to the return I will return the course name Course name okay so there is a, a something is missing and that is these two brackets copy and paste here okay the last one I have to display a course name that is also going to be non return type it's the void display uh, message and, uh, <coughs> here I have to type that I want to show 
say out and uh, let's say uh, welcome to the course and welcome to the course and I want to to get this course name to display on the screen it will be a get function get get course name and let's say it's a new line okay so we have finished with the <coughs> declaration of these classes now I have to go to the main in the main uh, actually now I need a one local variable as a string so then I can pass that string value into a uh, here in this function set course name on there so now oh, I have to add a string give its variable name mm. What is the what it could be? Okay, course S E L E course selection. It's a little bit long, but I will just copy and paste. Easy. And there I need my class name. I have to create an object now. Mm -hmm. That one. Course will be a no. course my course. Okay. So after this, I I just want to display a a message first that uh, if uh, this claw uh, if there is any variable is there I mean I want to show if it's initialized with any by default or it's not initialized with any values so here I would say let's see out I N I D I A L initial course Name. Initial course name and and line. So just a new line. But this is the not right way. This will only just display a a message. So I have to initialize. I have to display this message plus. I have to use uh, this method, this function to see the value there and how I can use this direct I cannot use direct unless I use my this object that I have created okay so other word it will be a my course dot and you can see get the course name and this last one actually it was already there but put a new line okay so the next is I have to give a user prompt so the user can enter his uh, course name again say health please enter the course 
course name. And just a new line. Here I have to use if get line in bracket I have to choose a C in comma uh, the variable name where I want to store the the value okay but now there is a one slightly problem the get line function if you want to use the get line function then you must have to declare on top as a string I have a code selection get line I have got the I have input the my course and now the next procedure is I have to pass this value into the into the function there so for this one I will use um, my course my course dot uh, set course and uh, inside of this I need to provide a the value I mean these values okay so now I have passed the value into a set course name Okay, so the next procedure is just to get the data to just get the value from the from getter function. It will be a again my uh, my course my course dot. Uh, that's the one get course uh, actually what we can do now we can just use a display function because here with the display function we can use a welcome to the course and in the get course name now there is values already there so we don't have to worry about not to get the data direct from the get uh, function so there is already a value here now so we can simply use a display function because we have already passed the value there okay so let's hope Mm -hmm. so first of all my course dot set course name course selection the problem is here uh, okay why okay I have uh, before run another pro uh, another project so still showing that output I have to clean this uh, executable rebuild all no error compile and run no 
how is possible okay just give it uh, another name uh, and if now you compile so that was strange okay now there is a initial course name please enter a course name I'm going to say uh, CS 101 course programming course if I enter what I get I get welcome to the course CS 101 programming course so uh, welcome to the course and uh, then showing get course name because now I type CS101 programming course now it's uh, welcome to the course and then next is CS101 programming course is showing there okay 